Hello, I am Aries from Synergy Notes and welcome to our YouTube channel. In this video, we will look at how to execute an IBC transfer for CW20 token from Juno Testnet Uni3 to C Testnet Atlantic 1. For this IBC transfer to go through, you will need to create a ICS20 smart contract which acts as a gateway through which a CW20 token can be sent from one Cosmos blockchain to another. You will need only one ICS20 smart contract created per blockchain. You can allow or whitelist many number of CW20 token smart contracts at ICS20 smart contract. We have provided all the necessary information along with all the links in our GitHub page. We have added the GitHub page link in the description down below. Here is a small diagram which we have created to illustrate how this CW20 IBC transfer is executed in the background. Under Juno Uni3 testnet, ICS20 contract is created. So under this blockchain, there can be multiple CW20 tokens that can exist. Here we have an example of token 1 and token 2. In order for this token to be transferred through IBC channel to another Cosmos blockchain like C Atlantic 1, this token address has to be whitelisted on ICS20 smart contract. So basically ICS20 smart contract acts as a gateway for all the CW20 tokens reside under Juno Uni3 testnet. By default, when you create an ICS20 smart contract for a Cosmos blockchain, only the address which are specified as admin in ICS20 smart contract can whitelist a CW20 smart contract address at this ICS20 contract. However, since this is a testnet, we have created an ICS20 smart contract where we have removed the admin privileges and hence anybody can add any CW20 smart contract address residing inside Juno Uni3 testnet into ICS20 smart contract. So once these are whitelisted in this ICS20 smart contract, this token can be transferred through this smart contract to other blockchains such as C Atlantic 1. Now let me demonstrate how to do this transfer using Kepler wallet. You will need Kepler wallet for this and make sure that you have installed Kepler wallet on a compatible browser like Google Chrome or Brave browser and imported your wallet. For this video, we are going to use Brave browser. We have already installed Kepler wallet and imported our test wallet. First, let's add both Juno testnet and C testnet to our Kepler wallet. To add Juno testnet to Kepler wallet, visit junomint.com. Click Kepler over here. Click Juno testnet. Approve. And again, click on approve. If you click over here and browse down, you can see Juno testnet over here. In the same way, let's add C testnet Atlantic 1 to Kepler wallet. To do so, visit testnet's cosmos run.info explorer. Click on C testnet. Click on wallet over here and import wallet. Just scroll down and click enable Kepler. Click approve and that's it. And now on Kepler wallet, when you click over here and scroll down, you will be able to see both Juno testnet and C testnet added to the Kepler wallet. Now let's select Juno testnet. If you do not have Juno X testnet tokens, you can request tokens at Fawzip present at Juno Discord channel. Now let's create a simple CWA20 token at Juno Mint for Juno testnet Uni3. On junomint.com, make sure that Kepler wallet is connected over here. Scroll down, give a name. I'll say test token. I'll mark it as ZTX. I'll leave everything as it is. Click on to agree the terms and conditions and click on confirm. Kepler wallet will prompt you to approve the transaction. Click approve and it will ask you to add the token details. Click submit. Click on Kepler wallet and you should see ZTX token added to your Kepler wallet. Now we have created our CW20 tokens at Juno testnet. This is the smart contract address of your CW20 token. Click over here. You will be taken to this Juno Blueprint Explorer where you can see the details of your token. Now open another tab. Go to our GitHub page. Scroll down. 
copy this url address go back paste and enter and this is the ICS20 smart contract that we have created where anybody can allow any CWA20 tokens on this contract. Now click login over here, click Kepler wallet. It will ask you for the permission, click approve. Now let's allow the CWA20 smart contract address that you have created just now onto this ICS20 smart contract. Open our GitHub page, scroll down, copy this example. Now go back to our ICS20 smart contract URL, click on write contract, replace this with the one that you have copied just now. Now we have to replace this with the token that we have created. This is the token that we have created. Just copy this, go back and paste it over here. Scroll down and click execute contract and approve the transaction. Okay, we have a success message over here. That means this CW20 smart contract has been successfully added to the ICS20 smart contract. Now you need to execute send function from your CW20 token smart contract address to initiate the transfer from Juno testnet to C testnet. Go back to our GitHub page, scroll down. First, we need to encode this message and pass this message using the send command. Scroll up, copy this base64 encode URL, open this URL in a different tab, go back to the GitHub page, scroll down, copy this message without a double quotes, go back to base64 encode website, click on decode, paste the message over here and click decode. You will receive this information. Channel is 79 and remote address is our C address. Now go back to uh, Kepler wallet, scroll down and select C testnet and copy this address. Replace this address with the copied address. Now copy this again. Go to the top, click encode. Now we are encoding this message. Paste it over here and click encode. Let this message be over here. Get back to our GitHub page. Copy this full information. Go back to your CW20 smart contract address on Juno Blueprints website. Make sure that you have logged in. Scroll down. Click write contract. Select all messages over here. Paste the information that you have copied which contains the send function. And now go back to the base64 encode website. Copy the newly encoded message. Go back to Juno blueprints. Replace this message with the newly created encoded message. And now execute contract. On Kepler wallet, click approve. Okay, now the transaction is successful. Now let's go back to Kepler wallet. Click here, scroll down to Juno testnet. Now you can see you have sent 100 ZTX tokens to your C wallet address. Now this transfer takes a little bit time. Click refresh, scroll down. You should see the send action over here with the transaction ID. Click on this transaction ID. Scroll down. This is the IBC packet information that is encoded. This is the sender, this is the receiver, and this is the amount that we have sent. When our IBC relayer picks up this transaction, it will process this and provides you an acknowledgement transaction over here. This will take a little bit time. It could take from 10 to 20 minutes. Okay, we have got an IBC acknowledgement transaction. You can check out this transaction over here. And you can see the result over here. Something like this means it is a successful message. Now, explorers.guru, I have checked the balance of our address to which we have sent this CWA20 tokens. Let's refresh this and check out if the CWA20 token has arrived over here. Okay, as you can see, we have successfully got 100 XTZ tokens to our C wallet. 
Now you can transfer this CWA20 token from C Atlantic 1 to Juno Uni 3 testnet through Kepler wallet or using C testnet node. I hope this video helps you to understand and execute a successful IBC transfer of a CWA20 token from Juno Uni 3 testnet to C Atlantic 1 testnet. Please join our Telegram and Discord channels. Please let us know if you have any questions. If you feel that this video was helpful and informative, please like this video and share this video. Also, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's it for now. You have a great day. Bye.